Hello guys, I'm Jay and welcome back to another Duel Links deck tutorial. Okay, so today what I'm going to introduce you guys is another zombie. So basically, we now have Shiranui Mayakashi as the most famous zombie but Omni Negate is something that everyone wish for and then at somehow we are neglecting the Doom King Belarage. Okay, so the deck that I'm going to introduce you guys today is Doom King Belarage. Okay. So why that this deck is so good? Okay, so it happens that I have a nine, nine out of ten wins from my previous test out with this deck. Okay, seriously, this is very insane, very good this deck, and then the win rate is seriously high. Okay, so the skill. Okay, there is a lot of skill you can go. You can go with the Yugi skill that can get the super polymerizations, but that one seriously doesn't really settle the brick issue of this deck so the skill that i'm going to go for is the spirit reps okay so what's special about it so you need a necrophile inside the deck to activate this skill and then you can send a level 8 dark monster from your hand to the graveyard to draw one okay so this is most likely the skill that you will be using often okay discard draw one and then here is that you've got three monster you can get a level five or higher from your hand from your graveyard to the hand so you can recycle your Dune King Belarus to the hand but this is not really an issue because that sometimes you will just need to keep your Dune King Belarus in the graveyard because of its effect so most probably you will be using the first effect the draw power okay so this basically is the deck okay so the main key engine the main end bot is to have a Dune King Belarus on your field Okay, why this is so good? Okay, first, standby phase, if you have a cards in the field zone, you can, you can keep on recycling yourself in defense position from your graveyard. Okay, so you can keep on revive yourself. Okay, so another thing is once per chain, you can activate one of the effects. So means that one turn, you can activate twice if you're able to chain link two. Okay, so what? Okay, so you if uh, that when a zombie type monster aside activates effect okay so you can negate the effect or you can banish one monster from the field or the graveyard so basically all this is a non-targeted negate non-targeted banish and you can interrupt your opponents with this by banishing the monster from the field or you prevent some cast activations in the graveyard so you be uh, maybe like shiranui spectral sword or something so beforehand activate banish it okay so anything activate negates it so this is your omni negates oh omni negates currently i think that uh during this like like not so prepared for it okay we have already the two omni negates get banned okay one is our uh, galaxy eyes okay tachyon dragon and another is our salaman raw okay so this is our uh, another Doom King Belarage, our Omni Negates. Okay, so basically, this is how it works. Okay, the main engine here will be your Uni Zombie and the Shiranui Solar Pair. And then, yes, all the rest here is equally important, especially the Glow Up Block and the Necro World Banshee. So, Glow Up Block. So, basically, the combo will be like that. Okay, so if you have a Uni Zombie or a Necro Banshee or a Glow Up Block on your hand, so summon down the uni zombie so you will need to activate to have the zombie world so if this on your hand activate the first skill discard to the graveyard and then activate the banshee set up your zombie world if not activate the second skill discard the banshee from the deck to the graveyard then set up a zombie world onto the field so your first move will be you will need to set up zombie world first no matter what and then activate the skill again to throw the glow up block into the graveyard activates the effect and then summon the doom king battle rush directly from your deck onto the field okay so basically this is the uni zombie combo so if you have zero with solar pad onto your hand so you can summon this down tribute it and then summon down the uni zombie and continue with the combo okay so mezuki will be not so important it's just that you if this in the graveyard you will have you will able enables you to resummon your doom king battle rush faster ahead 
okay because you will need to wait during the standby phase opponents or your standby phase then you can summon up this card so if you have mezuki then you can summon this card up ahead and then samurai scout is going to discard one card into the graveyard so that's it okay so the important thing that this is that you have to draw power you can use the trade in to discard the necrophile or the best discard the Belarosh. okay and then to get two cards or if it doesn't have it then go for the spirit grab to draw one so this is for your draw power so best is to have your doom king in the graveyard because why sometimes that you because this deck is quite big if you doesn't have all this kind of support because that if sometimes that you have a samurai skull okay so you just discard the necrophile banshee okay discard the banshee activate the zombie world and then spirit grabs activate discard the doom king belarosh into the graveyard draw one and during your opponent's standby phase you can resummon back the doom king belarosh uh, up front before they can do anything so that everyone on the field is a zombie and you can negate them okay so basically this is a thing and then super polymerization is basically for you to fuse into your nether soul dragons or you go in for the mule dragon or the swamp so depends on the situations then super poly will be your field clearance as well okay and then yes mst is important because there is a lot of back row back row nowadays and then yes limit three you can go for the terror of the old road ice dragon prison will be the best also non-targeted and this trap is seriously brainless because this two is a non-targeted you can see banish one zombie monster means that this is an interruption you can banish one and then resummon another card in replace so you can banish opponent's zombie monster you can banish their big ass monster your main monster banish it and then resummon another cards onto the field okay for to interrupt them okay and this can keep on recycle if you have a banished monster a banished zombie recycle into the deck and then set this card back onto the field so basically you can keep on banishing opponents as long that you got a banished zombie monster okay and then the haunted zombie yes you can banish either graveyard so you are main this card is mainly target their graveyard okay to interrupt them maybe same again that are cards like uh the the blue eyes egg or the spectral sword or something you can just banish them interrupts then summon two tokens and then these two tokens for you to go maybe you can go for the adventure you can go for either of the links over here so it's an extra monster for you to go for the link summons and then again say you can keep on recycling this trap back onto the field and then yes the most brainless card will be the shiranui style samsara okay so why banish one face out zombie take no damage so this is for your to you for you to prolong your battle sometimes maybe you are brick then this will be your out until that you're able to set up your doom king belarosh and then same bad target two recycle draw one this will be the draw power as well so this deck got a lot of draw power for you so it's very good and then let's go for the extra deck so netto so yes fuse two zombie monster so zombie world everyone is a zombie then you just super poly them yeah. and then yes you have your netto soul dragon and then you can hit them reduce them to zero use your token hit them for the full damage and then same new dragon monster with two with same attribute but different types so this is for you to go for the super poly as well and Dingrisu is for your end bot as well. You can go for the OT. You can go for the kill. If you have two Doom King on the field, then XZ become the Dingrisu. Remove one card and go in for the kill. Okay. So basically, you can use this to clear off the bot and then use the Dingrisu to clear the back row and then whoop for the win. Okay. Nightmare Unicorn, Link Rebo, Avengred. Same. It is used for you. It is for you to during your battle phase okay so you can discard one card into the graveyard so you can trigger discard the blob discard the blob and then immediately summon the battle rush during your battle phase okay this is for you to quick summon your battle rush onto the field and then you can reduce their damage as well with this okay so per level reduced by 200x and then vampire sucker for you to draw for you to interrupt the graveyard the graveyard monster and then draw one and then the nightmare phoenix so basically this is how the deck works 
so i will be further explained on how you do the combo so hope you guys stay tuned with it so let's go okay so this is with mokuba so mokuba is with okay not so sure i think most probably is okay yes it's shiranui okay so yes let's go i start off with a very bad hand if you can see that there is no uh fixed combo here so yes it's doing on with all the shiranui combo so when i using this deck against the tier one literally i stressless why it is a zombie with or without the doom king it is a zombie so you can just negate chain under that that's the reason why that doom king battle rush is a very good counter for the shiranui okay so good okay book of moon flip it down yes the deck, the deck that i introduced i doesn't put in the book of moon i i feel that book of moon is not really a necessity inside the deck so i already remove it so now uni zombie again same i got the uni zombie so first i discard the necro world banshee activate set up the zombie world and then again activate throw the glow up bloom and then summon the doom king balarosh so i attack over it and attack again so yes, he's going in with the gold set. Activate. So with here, I choose to banish. So I banish the Squire Saga. Seeing that this is... Okay, you can banish one and then gain 600. So if this card is banished, you can target one, add it to the hand. So it's trying to recycle the Squire Saga. So I just banish it. And then he go on with the samurai skull again. I negate it. So basically, that you have two effect: one ban non-targeted banish and one negates. Again, MST uh, uh cosmic cyclone. Too bad there goes my zombie world. Okay, and again is activate the spirit master, and then destroy my doom king Belarus. Let's go attack attack get hit and this is my last chance so i go on with the samurai scout so attack taking up no nope. so he attacks over it and he doesn't attack me because that he's afraid of my back row okay so again he's using the samsara to draw so again recycle draw synthesis and with the help of the synthesis because that the doom king battle rush effect is that as long there is a fail spell so if opponents activate the fail spell then by the next standby phase you can resummon your doom king as well okay so with that mst broke the success and that goes my battle rush activate chain and i banish Okay, then again, I negate it, go for the Vendred, and then use the Mezuki to resummon back my Doom King Belarage. Yes, it goes, and I again <laughs> negate, and I win. So, basically, this is how you keep on countering your opponent. You can banish, you can negate, you can keep on banishing them, okay? So, that's the reason why that Doom King Belarage is a very good counter for the tier 1 shiranui okay so let us watch kamui kamui is also another match with the tier 1 okay so you're using akiza ikinshi so okay this is another shiranui match so i will further explain on how you counter them okay so i start off with a very bad very bad hand you can see okay so i'm starting with turn one as well so let's go Uni zombie go with the banshee. Banshee set up the zombie wall and then set two cards on the field and go. And now let's go, squire. Go okay. So here is where the trap activates. You can banish one zombie monster. So this is for you to interrupt your opponent's uh, your opponent's graveyard. So what is the most critical cards? Spectral sword. So I banish it. Okay, so it will follow the level 2. So it's a level 2, so the token that you summon will become level 2 as well. Okay, so again, same. He's go on with the Sun Saga, destroy my zombie world, haunted zombie, and I recycle my Banshee in the deck, and I reset my 
haunted zombie back onto the field and then I go for the savior okay so again go for the uni zombie go for the banshee and then set up the zombie world again so with here I took the risk I do the risk calculations and I throw the blow up block so I reduce the 200 and out landing me with a one point with a 100 life point so why I summon the block activate the block banish the block summon the doom king directly okay so i left with a 100 life point and then i go for the terror of the overroot taking this out setting the spectral shot shade onto the field okay this is where i end the bot msd breaks everything and then i activate the uni zombie okay and then i throw something and i chain my doom king under it under chain 2 and I banish the spectral shot shade so the fail currently is all empty out and that is how I go for the win that is the anime battle 100 la point versus 4k and I win so that's the reason why I say that Doom King Battle Rush is a very good counter for the <laughs> this for Shiranui okay so maybe let's just watch another okay this not sure what is it okay high chance is another battle chronicles okay i guess yes win streak 5 battle chronicles is a very good effect yes annoying one super annoying duel okay so activate is going in with the magical circle set battle chronicles again get the secrets of dark magics I a Tymaeus, go to the Dark Cavalry. Okay, Dark Cavalry, you will need to know that whenever you target the card. So, opponents or you, you target opponents or you target yourself, Dark Cavalry also can negate the activation in this rod. So, you need to use something that is without target, non-targeted. Okay, so Samurai Skull, then I go for Necro World, set off the Banshee, set two cards. And this is the key cards over here. So I activate Return of the Zombie, banish one zombie monster. Yes, this is a zombie, and it is a non-targeted card, so I just banish it. Okay, so yes, let's go. We banish, take out Book of Moon, set. Okay, so with that, go for the Uni Zombie, and he go on with the effect. Well, learn, uh, no, nothing, nothing. For the Avendred. So yes, Avendred, I took the chance, and I discard the Doom King Belloroj. Why? 8 times 200 It reduced a 160 So end up with a 1.2 So my Avengers Savior will kill it Okay, so again This summons the Dark Magicians And it attacks over me So I discard the Banshee Again So out and Banshee Activate Put on the Zombie World And the Zombie World I activate returns of the zombie and they become a zombie again so I banish them again so yes by the next turn by the next standby phase I can resummon back my Doom King Belloroch and then let's go with the Nightmare Phoenix because seriously the back row is too damn annoying so again discard the block immediately the block will trigger and resummon my Doom King Belloroch from the deck so yes attack attack so it go on with the eternal soul. So again, I resummon my Doom King Belloroch back. Attack, attack. Okay, this is where I misplayed because that why they are non-targetable. Okay, can't affect my opponent's card effect. So that Super Poly will not able to use to fuse them. So I end up fusing with the Nettle Soul Dragon, but it doesn't. It's not the end. So I using the Mezuki and we summon back this and then the Apprentice of Illusion, the Hero main power up, attacks over it. Yes, I'm not able to use the Necros the Neto Soul Dragon's effect because they are protected by the Eternal Soul. Okay, okay, go and he go for this. It is the mistake over here for him. Okay, so again, activate. I resummon, I resummon this and he activates and I can chain under the Doom King. 
So, yes, I negate and I attack. So, this happens very quickly. So, basically, is that I attack over the Dark Magicians, okay, and reduce the attack to zero and then attack again with my Dark Soul token and go for the win. So, basically, this is how you end the board as well. So, very nice. Okay, so let's go on with another match. So, this is with Kaiba. So, yes, Battle Chronicles again. Seriously, this is one damn annoying deck, okay? So, okay, draw face, opponent's turn. So, let him set up everything. Battle Chronicles, go. Set, okay, so I start off with the MST. Break one card at the back. Go for the Uni Zombie. Discard the Banshee. And then set up the Zombie World. And then activates again. Go up with the Glow Up Block. Glow Up Bloom. Doom King Valorosh, attacks over, Monster Reborn, Sisa Sose, and attacks over me, attacks again, and there goes, by the next turn, I resummon back my Doom King Belarage. Okay, so I go on with the Samurai Skull, and then I chain my Belarage again, so I banish the Blue Eyes. Okay, so by the next standby phase, again, I summon down my Doom King, and he attacks, attacks, and there goes my two Doom King Belarage. Never mind, the next turn I still resummon them back. So I go for the trade in, discard the necrofair the necrofield. So basically then this is the use for the necrofield. Either that you this is for you to activate the spirit grabs. If not, you will just use it for the trade in to extra draw. So Super Poly, take out these two and become the Nether Soul Dragon. So call for the hunter, never mind, I attack again. So I make it zero, summon the token, attack, there goes, and attack, and I win. Okay, so let us start, uh, let us go for the last match review. So this is with the hero decks, the elemental hero Krugel. Okay, so eternal bond skill. Okay, so this is start off with a uh, bad hand. Why? Because I only play with one glow up bloom. So if this on my hand means that I'm not able to summon my Doom King Belarosh. So yes, activate, set it. So I betting to <laughs> I I betting this with this. So eternal bond. So if E were to attack over immediately, I can summon my Belarosh onto the field. So okay, miracle contact. Okay, Stratos, go for the news fusion, attack, and immediately I summon my Doom King Belarosh onto the field. So he's going for another news fusion. Yes, I go for the Samurai Skull. Same, I activate, chain, banish. And then I send my Doom King Belarosh so that by the next standby phase I can resummon onto the field. So attack, he's going for the drain shield, recovering it with a massive 2.8k damage. Okay, so again, activate and he go on with the Super Poly with all my monster and then I resummon back my Belarage. So new Fusion, again go out with the Krugel and that is when I use my Ice Dragon Prison. Okay, so too bad because that initially I thought that I can summon the new Wise Man because it is a Spellcaster and Krugel is a Spellcaster. But the problem is that it cannot be special summoned in other way. So I cannot banish them. So that I can only go for the news and banish this. Oh, sorry. There's a mistake over here. Okay. I can because why? The this. You can target one monster. Okay. Banish bomb with the same type. Okay. So both also zombie. That's why I can banish it. If happens on the normal normal situations. Then no, because that there are rarely any spell caster in the hero deck except for Effect Builder. So this situation most probably that you will end up banishing the SQ Redow instead of the Google. But this situation is that I have the zombie world, so both also zombies, so I can banish them. Okay, so again the same Belarage. And then I summon down the Uni Zombie. Okay, activate the skill and I chain and I banish and I go for the Avengered Savior. So yes, using the Mezuki and resummon back the Doom King. Attack, 
Yes, not enough to kill, but yes, and with that, two level eights on the field and link some and rank up summon the Dingritsu. Okay, so these are uh, take it out and then Dingritsu can protect himself. So it's a very good and attack and I win. So basically this is how you combo and how you end the bot. So either you end bot with the Neto Soul Dragon or you can end bot with the Dingritsu and you can protect it and you can all you have all the non-targeted banish omni negates and everything so basically this is doom king battle Roach with spirit grabs so that is still other skill but for me so far spirit grabs will be the best skill with the doom king because it further increase your consistency to have your doom king battle Roach set up on turn two Okay, so basically this is the whole idea and I hope you guys enjoy. If there is any other way to play with the Doom King, welcome and comment below and then hope you guys enjoy this tutorial guide. So if you enjoy, please give a thumbs up. It means a lot to me and then comment if you have any things and then share it up to your friends if you find that this is a very good tutorial for you all so again appreciate everyone so thank you and i'll see you guys in the next video so sign up bye bye